Greenock on the west coast of Scotland is home for Nuala and Jim Gardner. Their son Dale is eight and has autism. The family's life has been transformed by their dog Henry. Dale was very quiet and placid as a baby, but the real problems with him began when he was about two. He started to have problems with his behaviour. He would have tantrums and he would start screaming and we couldn't seem to get through to him. But really got to a level when he actually started to physically headbang his head against walls and I just, it just alarmed big uh, bells in the head and I thought, no, there's something very wrong here. After a series of consultations with doctors and psychologists, it was confirmed that Dale had autism, which is a form of brain disorder. Basically, children who are affected by autism have a great difficulty in communicating with other people and in social, socialising and interacting in a social manner. That causes the children to appear very isolated and very withdrawn and they have real difficulties in forming relationships with other people. Dale seemed a prisoner in his own world and his parents were in despair, but things were about to change. We'd been trying to have another child give Dale a brother and sister because we could see his loneliness. He'd come back from school and he'd just retreat into his own little world. But for some reason, that's not happening. So we decided at that point to get a dog. It was about three years ago when a golden retriever owned by a local breeder had a litter. The family went to choose a puppy for Dale. The little boy came in totally empty. Uh, no expression, no feelings, just a blank, unrelating little boy, no interest at all in the pups. However, one of the pups chose him. This pup leapt up and sat beside him and Dale started patting him. Suddenly he had a friend to play with. The wee boy that normally wouldn't exchange much in the way of conversation, wouldn't know was in the room, just literally his personality became alive. Anything that happened with Henry Dale was involved in brushing him, feeding him, walking him, and he understood. And he grew to really love and respect Henry. And very gradually I noticed that the dog was allowed into space. We were never allowed into space. Day by day, Dale's life was being transformed by Henry's presence. Even his tantrums grew fewer, and then came another breakthrough for Dale's parents via Henry. It was during one of Dale's tantrums, and Henry, who was quite used to this behaviour, was lying beside Dale. And my husband, I, I don't know where he got it from, but sheer accident, just said in a deep voice, he said, Dale, please stop this, Dale, it's Henry here, I'm really worried, please stop this. And that was the day Henry got the voice. Dale, could I have another bit of toast, please? Just... At the beginning, Dale's parents began to use Henry's voice to have conversations with Dale and to calm him down. Oh. Thank you, Dale. Did you cut me a second bit? I really like a couple of bits in the morning, you know. Now tantrums are rare, but the voice is still used to speak to Dale. Dale, please, I'm really hungry. It's a snowy cold day. Could I have more toast, please? Eight too many. Dale goes to a mainstream school now, where there's a special unit for children with autism. When Dale started here, he was a very lonely little boy who avoided social contact. He's changed quite a good deal, and a real factor in this has been Henry. Henry has really given Dale the experience of being successful in a relationship. He doesn't bombard him with a lot of speech, and he's always glad to see him. And if we can replicate those conditions, we ourselves can actually learn from Henry. Before Henry arrived, Dale didn't have a particularly good understanding of other people's feelings. But through his dog, he's sort of learned about feelings and he's learned about love and he loves his dog and he appreciates his dog loves him. We're actually very complete now and content as a family. What we've got in Dale and what we've got in our dog, we have got a lot, we really have.